Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You are watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays. And today I'm gonna to show you how to really simply head swap a photo. So I have this photo here and I really like it. Everyone is smiling nicely, except for this little girl in the middle. She's not looking at me nor is she smiling. So I actually wanna take her head from this photo and put it on the original. So there is a really simple way to do this. I don't know if you've ever Googled it or if you've ever watched videos on YouTube. Everyone does it this really difficult way and I'm not sure why. I do it really simply and I'm gonna show you how I do that here today. So I wanna select her head from this photo and move it into the original. And to do that, you're gonna use your selection tool. So you're gonna come up to your toolbar here and select this little dotted square and you're gonna draw a box or square around her head. So you're gonna wanna leave some room around her head, maybe a couple inches in real life around each side, and this will help us align it better when we move it into the new photo. So now that we have the selection that we like selected, if you if you messed up or you don't like it, all you have to hit is Command or Control D on your keyboard and it will re remove your selection, and then you can go back up and reselect. So I'm gonna select about like that on her, on her head here, and I want to duplicate this selection. And to do that on a Mac, you're gonna hit Command J, and on a PC, you would hit Control J. And that would make your selection a new layer. So now if we went to move it, we could move it around, and just that selection part is a new layer. Now we actually want to move this into our original photo. So we're gonna just drag it up and um, bring it into our new photo here. So now that we have two heads here, the next step is to line them up as best we can. So you're gonna drag your new layer or your new photo head over top of the original and just kind of place it where you think it should go. And then you're gonna come over to your opacity slider here on your layer one and just bring that down a little bit. And that makes it a little see-through or it makes the opacity less so that we can see actually where we're lining this up. So I'm gonna zoom in here so I can show you exactly how to do that. So here is her head and it's pretty close. It, it was taken at the same time, so it's gonna line up pretty closely. But if you need to, you can always adjust your size. Now again, if you're adjusting sizes or making things smaller or larger and you need to hold the form, when you're dragging the corner out, you need to make sure that you're holding down the shift key. So with your shift key selected, make sure that you are making things smaller or bigger holding down that key. If you don't, your photo will lose its form and your subject's face will not hold the original shape. So we don't want that, we want to maintain the original form and so make sure you're holding down the shift key when you're resizing. Now I do want to line this up as best I can and as close as I can so I'm actually going to use this hand here as kind of my base point and I'm going to line it up as best I can. Now you can pick any kind of spot on her that you'd like but I'm going to kind of just resize it so that it lines up best there. Now you could pick kind of her collar line here to line up or you could just make her eyes line up. It doesn't really matter which section you make line up as long as it does and it's the same size as the original. Because um, we're gonna adjust this or paint off the parts that we don't like in a minute. But as long as you can get it kind of lined up as best as you can, then that should be fairly good. So I do like it like that. I know that that's about right. So I'm going to just leave it there and I'm gonna hit this little check mark up here which is gonna place it there. Now I do want to adjust my opacity back up to 100% so I, see, I can see what I'm working with here. And now it doesn't quite line up, right? Like her face here doesn't line up and her arm obviously is, she's in, sitting in a different position in this photo but I do like her head here in this image. So there's two ways that you can fix this now. You can either just use an eraser and paint off all these edges and just leave the head there or you can use the layer mask, which is a little bit more forgiving. If you make a mistake, you can always paint it back on. So I'm gonna actually use the layer mask. So making sure that my layer here is selected, I'm gonna go down to the bottom of my layer panel and select the little square with the circle in it, which is gonna add a layer mask to this layer. And now, as I'm sure you remember me talking about in so many tutorials, a white layer mask is revealing everything in the layer and a black layer mask is concealing it. So we want to use a black brush now we want to paint off this surrounding area or all this extra 
stuff around her head in this image. So we're going to make sure that we've selected our brush tool by hitting B on our keyboard or you can come over here and hit the little brush in your tools palette. You're going to also make sure that your foreground color is set to black and to toggle back and forth on your keyboard you can hit X and it'll toggle between black and white. So we want ours to be black so we're going to leave it there. And now your opacity, I would suggest for you to use quite a high opacity so that you don't have to make as many adjustments. So I'm going to leave it up at about 85. And then the last step is to adjust the size of your brush. And again, you can do that by hitting the bracket key on your keyboard, which is just above your enter key. And you can hit the right bracket to make your brush bigger, or you can hit the left bracket to make your brush smaller. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger and we're going to just start painting off the parts of the photo that we don't need. And usually if you've lined up your photo pretty closely, it's not going to matter if you go over um, some parts more than others. So you do want to kind of get it as close as you can. If you've made a mistake and you've messed something up, you can always just switch your foreground color back to white by hitting X on your keyboard and then paint that back on. For the most part, you're just going to go around and make sure that everything kind of blends in nicely. So that is pretty close and um, unless you knew that this head wasn't the original head, I think it would be really hard for you to tell. So if I give you the before, here's the before where she's not looking, and here's the after with her new head and she's looking in this direction, I think it would be even hard for mom to tell that this wasn't the original photo. So that is how you swap a head really simply and easily. Um, it doesn't have to be difficult, it doesn't have to be convoluted or complex, it's really quite simple. So before I started editing, I would just um, flatten this image so that it was all the same thing. You don't have to auto blend layers and all that stuff. I, I'm not sure why people do that. It doesn't have to be that difficult. So there is a really simple, fast way to swap ahead for a photo. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me over on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.